Warriors. My name is Jaime Fernandez, and I am Strength and Conditioning Specialist at Home Base, a partnership with the Red Sox Foundation and Mass General Hospital. Today, we will be conducting our second posterior chain workout, a workout that focuses on the muscles on the back. These muscles include the calves, the hamstrings, the glutes, back, and triceps. We will conduct two supersets of four rounds each. I hope you enjoy this workout and have a great day. All right, motivators. So, as I explained on the first superset of the posterior chain workout, first exercise we're gonna do is gonna be a bird dog position, single arm pull. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have Brett come down onto his hands and knees. Again, just like always, make sure the bones are stacked. Hands are right, right underneath the shoulders. Knees are right, the, right underneath the hip. From here, I'm gonna ask Brett to bring his right arm up. Right here, he's stabilizing. Kind of this decrease the surface area a little bit. And from here, I'm just gonna ask him to bring that elbow back toward his ribs. We're gonna have him repeat the movement. And that's one way to do the movement. If you wanna make it a little harder, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Brett go ahead and kick back his left foot. Still put a little weight on that left foot. And he's gonna, again, keep bringing, the purpose of it is we're creating a little stability and activating the real delt in the lat or the tissimus dorsi. Last modification, if you wanna make it even harder, it's gonna become a core stabilization exercise with the uh, delt and lat activation. I'm gonna have him actually raise his foot up, a lot less surface area now, so it's gonna take a lot more uh, abdominal control and he keeps pulling. We're gonna go for between 12 to 15 pulls per side. Okay, motivators, the next exercise that's gonna be superseded with the bird dog single arm pull is gonna be leg curls. To be able to perform this exercise, again, we're being innovative, being at home, so let's find a piece of cardboard that we'll be able to utilize for this movement. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and put Brett down on his back. We're gonna put the cardboard right underneath his feet, on his heels, I'm gonna ask him to bring his heels towards his butt. From here, I'm gonna ask him to go ahead and raise his derriere up into the air. This is, if you can't do a leg curl, we can keep it at this, just bring the butt up and down. But if you can execute a leg curl, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kick the heels out and you're gonna bring the heels back in. Both of these movements work on the glutes and the hamstrings. Now, if this seems too easy, we can also progress this into a harder movement or a uni unilateral or a single leg curl. Same movement, just one leg is up. We're gonna go 12 to 15 reps if you got both legs down, eight to 10 reps if you're going single leg. And for the hip bridge, let's go 12 to 15 reps. All right, motivators. So by now, we completed our first two exercise or our first superset, four, four rounds, with the number of repetitions that was given. The next superset, or the, for four rounds as well, first exercise is gonna be a bench dip. You can do this on a bench, on the stairs, on a chair. Right here we have a bench, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Brett face away from the bench, put his arms onto the bench. If you notice his feet are close to him, the closer your feet are, the easier the movement is gonna be. Give me a couple of repetitions, Brett. From here, the further he walks his feet out, the harder the movement is gonna be. This is focusing, as the main activator is um, working on triceps here. Now, if you really wanna make it difficult, you can grab a chair or a box, bring the feet up, and continue with the dips. Okay, motivators. So, first superset we went upper body, lower body. We just on a superset went upper body. So guess what's next? We're going lower body. We're gonna focus on the glute and hamstrings again. We're gonna use our trusty cardboard. So I'm gonna have Brett face laterally from the camera or side view. I'm gonna have him put one of his foot on the box. From here, I'm gonna ask him to hinge at the waist and bend forward. What this does is it's gonna load the glute and it's gonna put more activation on the gluteus muscle as opposed to the quads. We are doing a posterior chain after all. From here, he's just gonna slide his foot back and we call this a bent over posterior slide. We're gonna go 10 to 12 per side. Do one side, exhaust one side, and then do the other one. OK, 
Okay, warriors and motivators, this concludes our posterior chain workout. If you have any questions about wellness and fitness, please visit us at homebase.org. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share this content with friends, family, and Homebase Nation. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Homebase Program. Thank you. Have a great day.